And we're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy. We report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. This video is brought to you via Fair Use Reporting Act, Fair Use Tennis Reporting, Sports Talk News. Listen, guys, we are here in Limo J. We have Anna Bogdan. And listen, guys, this needs to be said. This needs to be addressed immediately. Anna Bogdan is a baddie. Yes. She's taking on Katrina Scott from the USA. And Katrina Scott, if she wants to take it to the next level in the long list of American prospects. She's got to win matches like this. Drops the first set 6-3 right now. Unserved in the second set. She's got to push through. Uh, she's she's a talented player. Uh, she does a lot of things right. Uh, but however, you're not going to win many matches only winning 50% of your first service points and 30% of your second service points. Anna Bogdan, not that much better either. Yes, she's a much better clay player. She's a veteran uh, she's winning 60% of her first and second service points, so a little bit more consistent there. Multiple breaks in this match. And listen, guys, this I'll be honest with you. I'm not really interested in predicting matches for this tournament. Why? Because all the underdogs, all the numbers are pointing to the underdogs, and all the matches are going over. So the best play in this tournament is probably the totals, to be honest with you, because a lot of these ladies can't hold serve. They make a lot of faults. Uh, some of them make a lot of double faults. And listen, if you're making a lot of faults, you're literally giving your opponent an opportunity to just tee off on you on the second serve. And you might as well just give the point away because not every player has that Alicia Parks mentality or that Maria Sacri mentality, you know, or that Serena Williams consistency. You know, Serena Williams is known for not she's known for not faulting. She's known for not double faulting. She is. Over the course of history, the best server, male or female, that's a fact. The numbers don't lie. You can look it up. Serena Williams, early in her career, had speeds higher than a lot of what the men were doing. You know, she literally does not make those types of mistakes. Now, 2022, Serena, not so. She made a lot of double faults. Of course, she didn't have her arm. She didn't have her fitness or form under her. She hasn't been playing. It's understandable. But consistently, Serena Williams, she's just not going to double fault. She's the exception to the rule, ladies and gentlemen. The top servers nowadays, they make a lot of faults and a lot of double faults. That's been proven. The Tennis Network did a segment on it. Some of the Hall of Famers, professional, great players, that some of them even beat Serena Williams. They uh, did the segment on it, and they said, "Look, they presented the data, and it's and it's known. You know the the Rebikinas, the Pliskovas, the Sabalenkas, the Sacharies. You know all these ladies. They fault a lot and double fault a lot. It's that's not a secret. Um, you know, not everyone has the the service skills of a Sam Sanova. And by the way, guys, what happened to Sasnovich? She was supposed to take on Andriva from the Federation. And I guess at the last minute that match got scratched. Look, the number did not look good for Sasnovich. I don't know. I have to find out what's going on with that match. Was she injured? So something happened. She had to pull out of that match and Andriva won. And look, the number did not look good for Sasnovich. Um, Sasnovich is one of my favorite players just because she's just always fought an uphill battle her career. And I'm saying I'm looking like. And Driva's going to beat Sasnovich? How, how the heck is this going to play out? I have to see this play out. Because Sasnovich, even though she doesn't have the power that a, a lot of the top 10, 20 players has, she's she's very tricky. She's got moves and she's very smart. She plays chess out there. Uh, but listen, guys, we have to let it be known. Russia is just dominating tennis right now. I mean, like, look, Sam Sanova, Kunamatova, Kasakina. I mean, you have uh, the, even the younger players like Andriva, Blinkova, Potpova, you know, it's just the younger players are really getting it done here. And even the Belarusian players, you know, the Sabalinkas of the world, the uh, Sasnovits, the Victoria Azarenkas. So, listen, that's like the Cuban boxing scene. We all know.